So you guys, how are you doing? It's already like 10.30, I got home, they sent me home early today. But, um, here's what I was gonna tell you guys. I really didn't record anything today, and to not just like leave, give you another short video, you know, today, I decided, you know what, I'll share the, the recipe to the lasagna with you guys. So I'll share the recipe to the lasagna with you guys, and there you go, you guys could learn, and that can be the video for today, what do you guys say, yeah? Cool. So just here it is. The next clip is lasagna. You're welcome. Enjoy, you guys. So, welcome back. So you want to learn how to make lasagna? Well, guess what? I do too. <laughs> Just kidding. Guys. So, um, here you go. So it might look, look up. It might look like I'm not. Un you know, I'm not organized because I have like a bunch of crap scattered all over the place. But I am. I have everything where I need it. And at specific times that I need it, and this, this, and that. So, so first off, I'm gonna tell you guys to go ahead and preheat your oven to the 350 degrees because once we get all the ingredients all chopped up, cooked, and ready, and we have them all set up on our dish, we're gonna go ahead and pop that baby into the oven and let that get nice, bubbly, and brown. It's gonna be so good, but you need to get that preheated now because that's gonna take the longest. So, we want it to wait for us, not us, wait for it. So, the noodles. I have basic noodles, you can get whatever one you want. I just bought them because they were cheapest, so I'm just going to use. Um, what I can say about that is that um, I'm not going to cook them in boiling water. Uh, I just, it just makes, it makes it easier. It's one less pot that I don't have to wash. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, line the bottom of the of my glass pan here. And then add some sauce, you know, this and that. And then as it's cooking in the... In the in the oven, it's gonna it's gonna cook. The pasta is gonna cook through because it's gonna it's gonna cook through. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on chopping the onions. I'm not gonna show you, you know, I'm not gonna do like a speed, you know, species speeding me speeding through the onions. I'm just gonna chop it up and then I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna come back and it's gonna they're gonna be chopped. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so I got my carrots chopped up here. I got two carrots and I just all I did was just you know. Peel them up and then cut them up really small because these are going to take a little longer to cook so I'm just going to go ahead and toss these first and I have a little bit of olive oil in here. Let me add a little bit more because that's not going to be enough. Some olive oil in there. And it's on like low heat right now just because I didn't want that oil browning. Put those in there. And that's going to start cooking out you guys. Salt those babies. Cool. And let those go for a little bit until they until they soften up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my my onion and my garlic. So there you go. I have my onions cut up. My carrot is still cooking in there. So Carrots are still cooking in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that do its thing. Soften up. Smells like oop. Fogging up. Fogging up. Um, now I gotta be honest with you guys. I haven't. I've never made lasagna from scratch like this before. So I'm learning on the way. I'm like I'm making things up on the way. And when I cook, I'm not like I'm not a. I don't follow recipes. I don't follow recipes. It's all about you know. Who I okay. I follow recipes, but I don't follow measurements. Like it's all about like I add a pinch of this, a dash of that, you know, a handful of this. So I don't really like. I don't have a specific uh, measurements that I can give you guys. So I'm just eyeballing everything, cause. Pretty much, like, recipes, they, they, it's a guideline from, for things. You don't have to follow them. You can switch them. If you don't like carrots, don't put carrots. If you, if you like more onion, then add more onion. Or if you just like the carrots, go add the carrots, don't add the onions. You know, like, you can substitute things from here that, you know, that don't need to be in here, okay? It's all up to your liking. So that's all I, you know, that's what I do. So once the onions are a little, I mean the onions, I mean the carrots are a little bit more softened up, then I'm going to go ahead and toss in my onions, but I'm going to go ahead and chop in my garlic, okay? Okay, so I just went ahead and added my garlic in there. I also added some thyme leaves and some bay leaves. It's gonna be so good. It smells so good in here already, you guys. And this is just like the beginning. We're just starting here. So we're gonna go ahead and let that continue to cook out. Let the garlic, you know, cook. The onions, the onions are gonna soften up just a little bit more. Now while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and get another pot because I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the... Or should I just do it in the same pot? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about doing the tomato sauce. 
I think we should try do try doing it all in, in one pot. So this is a one pot thing. Because I'm, I can take out... Because this is the thing, watch. You can take this out once it's done cooking. Or when it's like pretty much almost cooked, just take it out put it in a bowl. Then clean out the pot. Clean out the pan. And then cook something else in it. Take that out and when it's done and done, clean the pan again. And then just, So you're only using one pan pretty much. You don't have to use like... You don't have to fill up your stove with all these different pots and pans. I think that's what I'm going to do instead. So I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch it out for some, for, um, for, to cook something else, okay? Okay, so I took my ground beef out, beef out, and I mixed it in with the vegetables that I cooked previously. Okay, so I got my tomatoes cooking on along right here. I had some salt, pepper, some thyme, some garlic salt. Uh, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let these cook down a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mash them up with, uh, you can mash them up with your wooden spoon or uh, mashed potato. Mashed potato. Okay guys, so there it goes. I layered everything up in there. Uh, the cheese sauce didn't really work out. I don't know why they didn't want to like thicken up. It just did, it just became warm milk. <laughs> so I threw that out of the freaking recipe. Which is alright, you know, there's always some, there's always gonna be some kind of mistake, you know. It's all about trial and error, you know, you just gotta try it out and see how it and I've done it before, I don't know why I didn't want to do it today, but anyways, forget about that. So, here it is. I have all the, I have the pasta in there, the tomato, the ground beef, onions, tomato, onions, uh, carrots, garlic, everything in there. And tons of cheese on top. So, I'm going to go ahead and put aluminum foil on this. Pop it into the oven. Let it go for about, I want to say 20, 25 minutes. I'll, I'm going to keep an eye on it, check on it, make sure that the noodles, you know, are soft because that's pretty much the only thing that I'm looking for. Once the noodles are nice and soft, I'm going to take the aluminum foil off and just let the top brown up and get nice and crunchy and brown, so ooey gooey and delicious. It's going to be amazing. So I'll show you guys the finished product, okay, guys? Oh, yeah, look at that bubbly, delicious lasagna. Yeah, mom, it looks good. What are you talking about? And guess what? When she got home, she bought lasagna too. Yes, I bought lasagna too. But I had already made it. Smells really good. I like it. Smells it. so good. I want to put some cheese on it. It better be good. I'm going to put the rest, the rest of this little cheese on it. And then pop it back in the oven so that it browns up and gets nice and really gooey and delicious. And then it should be done, you guys. So this is how it looks after you brown up the cheese on top. Look at that. So good. Can you hear it? It's so bubbly. Oh yeah, that is so good, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of myself. That was pretty, pretty good for a first time making lasagna. I did a good job. What do you guys think? It smells really good. I wish you guys could smell this. I'm just gonna like burn my face. <laughs> so you guys, that's how you make lasagna, or kind of make lasagna, I guess you could say. Um, uh, try it at home. It's really good. It's so delicious, and you're gonna love it, love it, love it. So you guys, I will see you next time with another video. Okay guys, I hope you guys have a nice, nice day and enjoy your dinner and eat up you guys. Bye guys.